What's up, everybody? Jeremy Law with Sylacauga Head Basketball Coach Ken Fullerton. Coach, your guys are back after Christmas break in a game tonight against Winterboro, trying to tune up for an area game on Friday night. What was the Christmas break like, and how do you move past a couple losses and get ready for tonight? Uh, Christmas break was great. Uh, we ended up getting uh, – we played a really good midfield team and a really minor team, and we were able to go to Birmingham and experience some a different level of physicality and speed and playing on an, a pretty much an away game is is always good for us because we're learning how to play through adversity and through tough obstacles along the way. And I'll tell you what, we had a lot of good play from uh, Quindavia Swain, Q Swain, and Connor Twyman. And then our seniors, Grant Hickey and Jay Campbell, were solid. Young guys played well. Was, it, I mean, it was just it was a good experience for us. Um, you know, moving forward, we have Winterboro tonight. We're going to have some young guys up in the lineup tonight just to see what they can do. And um, I'm excited about that. And then we move forward Friday at Clay Central. If we can win this game, we have a stronghold in the area, and that's a big deal. If we can win and go to improve to 3-0 and in the area, that's, that's huge for us as far as the landscape goes of us potentially making a run at the end of the season. Yeah, I know we talked a couple weeks ago. Um, what You're halfway through the season now. You're getting right back into area play Friday night. What is What are a few things that you're looking for in this team to take the next jump, to kind of be on that same standard that Silicaga basketball has set over really the last decade? Yeah, it's just, just get better our core values. I mean, our core values is, is very much defensive oriented. And if we cannot get stops, we will not win games. And, you know, defense wins championships. We're trying to hang our hat more on getting stops. So I'm the challenge that I want to look forward to today is how well do we play on the defensive end? Our warm-up's going to be a little bit different. We're going to be much more driven towards defense, getting in shape, and just going hard the whole time. We're very good at going hard in the first little bit of the game, but can we keep that going? And can we have a lot of bench energy while the game's going on? Can we take several charges? Can we do the little things like boxing out and high-hand closeouts? Can we jump to the ball? These little things right there are going to make a difference. And, you know, getting out in transition offensively, we have got to do a better job of getting easy buckets when they present themselves. And, um, you know, just as far as taking care of the ball in the half court, I, I'm, we've done a pretty good job of that, and we've done a great job of executing our script plays in the beginning of the games. We've just got to be more uh, consistent throughout the course of the game. On the road, Friday night, tough road environment. It's been a tough place to play for us the last few years, although I think we've won all of those matchups. What makes playing at Clay Central so tough, and how do you guys sweep them in the regular season on Friday night? They're very good at switching defensively. Uh, Coach Giddens does a really good job of just having them sit down and cover, and they don't get lazy in the switching. They really do cover the ball well. We have got to live in the paint. We've got to get the ball to paint. We've got to read the book. We've got to skip the ball out. We've got to make shots. Traditionally, we have not shot it the best in that gym, but we are going to have to really push the ball in transition and make some shots. And – Ultimately, defensively, it was a train wreck the first time we played, and we were kind of switching, we were kind of hedging, we were getting called for tons of fouls. I would like to see us play a lot cleaner against their offensive system is pretty much the same as ours. They've kind of gone to more of a dribble drive system this year because they don't have as many bigs. So that plays right into our hands. We need to be ready to go. We need to keep the ball in front. We need to cover the ball as good as I know we can. And if we can do that, we'll get out and transition a whole lot more. All right, Coach, good luck this week. We'll see you tonight at Douglas Martin Court. Thanks, man. Thank you.